This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Tulare County confirms it's reporting its first case of monkeypox. Health officials say the resident who tested positive is isolating and recovering at home. Health officials are actively investigating the case and looking for any close contacts who may have been exposed. They haven't released how the person contracted the virus. However, they say the risk to the general public is low. And joining us now to talk about monkeypox and some of the symptoms to look out for is Dr. Gita Siva Subramanian with UCSF Fresno. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Catherine, for having me. And monkeypox isn't a new disease. What is it and um, how can people contract it? That's correct. Monkeypox is not new. It's been around for over 50 years. Um, even though the name says monkeypox, we, it's not spread through monkeys um, and it's not related to chickenpox either. It's actually a very close virus to the family of smallpox. It belongs to the same family, but the symptoms are similar to smallpox, but much, much more milder. And uh, it's very endemic in Central African and West African countries. Uh, over the last 50 years, we've seen several hundred thousands of cases sporadically happen in those countries. But outside of the African countries, usually we have seen it only in the setting of travel or if we imported animals that could have been infected with this virus. This current outbreak seems to be mostly from close direct contact with someone who's had an infection. So that's how people are getting it. That's the main method of getting the infection is it can spread directly from someone who has the rash. So the rash, the vesicles, the fluid, the the scabs, they have the infectious virus material. And uh, so if you come in direct contact with that, with a close direct contact, that's how the infection is spreading. Now, we can also get it by close direct contact with respiratory droplets, but only with prolonged face-to-face -face contact. So it's activities like kissing, curling, sex. So intimate activities with someone who has the uh, infectious rash or viral particles is, one, is how the infection is spreading. So what are some of the symptoms and, and the recovery process? Do the sh symptoms show up immediately or does it take a couple days? There's an incubation period of about one to two weeks from the time the virus is acquired. However, the nice thing is it cannot be spread when the patient is in the incubation period. So they are only contagious after their symptoms stop. So someone cannot have the virus not know about it and transmit it because it's not, they are not contagious during the incubation period, which is nice. Um, and then after the incubation period, they may start to have some fevers, body aches, headaches, lymph node swelling. It feels like the flu. It may go on for about two to three days, and then the rash may start. Um, we are seeing in this outbreak where sometimes the rash just starts without the prodrome of you know, fever or cold symptoms. Uh, almost all of them have had a rash, and uh, the rash is usually starts like a pimple, then it blisters and fills up with fluid vesicles, then it crusts and scabs off, and new layer of skin forms on top of it. So that whole process takes about two to four weeks, and it is during that time that they can give the infection to another person if they're in very close contact with them, and they, they touch the rash and the vesicles. And so what, how can people protect themselves? Do I need to worry about, say, for instance, going to the grocery store and touching the handle on the shopping cart? Could it could it last that long on, on public spaces like that? It, it, it can be spread through objects, but not on objects like uh, carts and transport carts. It's basically if there is a household contact who has clothing that was in contact with the rash or the fluid. So that's the only concern in terms of objects is, you know, beds, linens, cups that were used by someone who had the infection. So to protect ourselves, the main thing would be you know, basic of hygiene, washing hands frequently, using hand sanitizers in other, other than washing soap and water. But, you know, talking to any new intimate sexual partner, uh, asking about rash, and if you have a close family contact or a partner who has a rash, you should avoid touching that rash, avoid kissing, hugging, having sex, or being intimate with them, uh, and avoid touching or sharing their bed or linen or cups. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Gita. Siva Subramanian with UCSF Fresno. Thanks for joining us tonight, doctor. My pleasure. And if you missed any part of this interview or you'd like more information, just go to our website, yourcentralvalley.com.